gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I'm bringing you another episode of Building This City on the Adventure Time multiplayer server. How's everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. I am at the moment. Um, I'll talk a little bit about my current recording schedule in, in just a bit, but let me tell you what we're going to be doing right now. Um, you see, we're at the spider farm, and I just got a comment not too long ago from a user by the name of Nathan Ruddisil and Nathan I am sorry if I am horribly pronouncing your last name but uh, he suggested after watching the episode where I showed this thing off he suggested putting in some slabs to try and keep the uh, spiders from climbing the walls and so what we're gonna do is pop out there and do this so anyway, let me tell you a little bit about what has happened on the recording. I usually record on Tuesday and Thursday evenings. And uh, at the moment, it is a Wednesday morning and I am recording. And the reason is that last night when I was getting ready to record, I ended up with a splitting headache, almost migraine level headache. And it's very rare that that happens. Um, very rare, and uh, it's been a couple, uh, it's been about a year, year and a half that I've gotten one of those. Um, I'm not sure what caused it, but it certainly was, uh, was pretty bad, and uh, it was even making me nauseous. So I was not able to record last night, so we're going to try and get this done today so I can get an episode out to you uh, this week. Um, and the reason I'm, I want to make sure I do it now is because... Uh, we are going to be headed out of town, um, going to a friend's wedding. Oh, let's see, they're kind of getting stuck there. They're not climbing the walls anymore. Going to a friend's wedding, and uh, I will not be, um, I will be out of pocket for uh, Friday on. So, uh, I will not be available to do any recording, so that's why I wanted to get that out. So, there we go. Um... Yeah, we still lose some until they finish their little jumpy thing right there and start crowding in. Let's see if we can encourage them. Let's see. Okay, they're starting to bunch in. Almost there. But yeah, they're not climbing the walls anymore. So thank you very much, Nathan. That was a great suggestion. We'll turn this off. We don't really need this. We'll let the last few come in. Uh, anyway, this last week was... Our last weekend was Father's Day, so um, any fathers out there, anybody that has a father, what'd you do for your celebration? Did, uh, if you're a father, did your kids take you out to uh, give you anything special? Or um, if you do not have kids, did you do anything special for your father? What, what did you end up doing? Um, go out anywhere and get a special gift that he's been looking for? Um, and I do realize that Father's Day is a U.S celebration I think it's US only I don't know you know anybody outside the US let me know if, if that uh, assumption is incorrect uh, I'm not quite sure but uh, yeah, well they're still not crowding in here so maybe you just gotta let them let them file in okay well at least they're not climbing the walls anymore so so that's a uh, there we go. They're starting to crowd in. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get, get a few more in there. It's always good to have some string. All right. So this thing is going pretty well. So thank you very much, Nathan. And hey, if you have comments, questions, or suggestions about any of the builds um, on here, uh, do let me know. I do read all the comments, and uh, I try to get them in place. Sometimes my recording schedule is uh, way ahead of any comments that you might put so uh, just keep that in mind it might take me a little bit to filter through this just happened to come in right before I was recording and uh, so we can take care of it now let me, uh, let me just get these guys and we'll we'll one hit them there's not too many yeah there we go it's a nice little nice little setup there all right. Let that go on through to pick up pick up anything. Um, now I will make a note here. 
if you see in the bottom right corner there is a little map and that is a voxel map it is a client-side mod which I'm trying out um, let me know what you think do you want uh, do you mind seeing it um, or does it take away from the experience for you do let me know but uh, hey we're not gonna do too much more on the spider farm in fact we're done so uh, I I'm going to take a little cut and we will get to our main project area for this episode. All right, back in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. So, can you guess where we are? Well, you can probably tell what we are in. This is the village that is just north of Spawn. And I say just, and it's something like five or six hundred blocks or so. But, but anyway, this. This village always brings back a little bit of nostalgia for me because this is where I started my channel. If you remember back to uh, the very first episode, that's where I started. We had a little chat uh, as I was writing that back to the main spawn compound. But uh, things have progressed certainly for me since then. I think the recording quality at least has gotten better. I don't know about the content quality, but at least the recording quality has gotten better. But uh, you can see what I've got going on right now. That's right. I am grabbing villagers. And uh, well, at least I've got the rail line set out for them. Um, I want to do a couple of things with villagers. We'll, we'll see that in just a bit. But I need to collect two right now. Um, here's the problem. Uh, we've already had two go through this portal. I've, I've noticed that we do have a slight issue. Since it is open, any loose villagers out in the village here will just walk on through. Sometimes we'll get the iron golem to go through as well. So um, I'm going to have to come back and put something around this portal so that the villagers do not go through there. But I've already had two go through. We'll take a look at them. And uh, and we will go on to our main project area since I've gotten to... Oh, world, load in, please. Thank you. So there's one. Um, what are his traits? Yeah, Flint Steel. Um, he used to be in the little church. And then there's another guy back here. You know what? Before we get to that, let me make sure that all my connections are right. We're going to send them over onto this track right here. And uh, then we're going to make sure they go not through the nether rail station, but to uh, to the village to the south. So we want to make sure, change that, and we want them to go around that curve. This is for later. Don't mind this. Uh, we will get to that this episode. So I'm going to send this villager on. And then I've got to go collect the other one. So let me uh, just take care of him. Um, and we'll get rid of that and that. Let's see. Okay, so he's now on there. So we'll grab that. And then he should be good to go. He's going to hit that pocket right there and just motor. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see if I can get that and that. Um, the other one went down this rail line here. It, you know what? We'll, we'll go see him and then, uh, and then I'll cut and get him to where we eventually need to go. Uh, world, come on, load in. Yeah. So there he is. Um, let's see if we can get him going. And he should not go past that. So anyway, let me let me cut and I'll get them to where we ultimately need to go and I will meet you over there. Alright? Back in a bit. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like one has gone through already. And the other has gone through, so let's go th through this portal. 
and get these guys to where they need to go. Okay, which is out of this portal. Uh oh, I did not want to do that. Oh, world load in. Thank you. Let's try and get this guy out of here. Well, I need to come through. Okay. There we go. And we'll lock up the other side so they can't get in. And there we go. We should... They should figure things out. My goal is to repopulate this little village. This is the village to the south. Uh, if you remember, uh, there's a flower forest over that way, and that's where we did all those flower farms. Um, but this village had gotten completely wiped out by zombies. And, uh, yeah, we wanted to get things started again here. Um, how about this other villager? Where did he go? I've done some work around here to help encourage their breeding. Put a bunch of doors on. So, we'll see what that does. I don't know where the other guy went to. You just have to listen for him. Okay, well, that is it for this part. Um, and, uh... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they figured it out. It is a village now. And we've got two villagers. So hopefully uh, they will get things started there. But uh, we need to go back and get a couple of more for a different aspect of the project. And that is that little spoiler thing I told you about. Ooh, I don't want villagers escaping out that way. So let's, let's take care of that. Yeah, all right. So, there we go. I will eventually uh, put a building around this so that the villagers can't easily get in. But those... Oh, he came back through. That's no good. That's no good. No good at all. Well, I'll take care of this and get him into the village, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right? Oh, back in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and, uh, well, we've got two villagers here. Let, let me make sure that he does not get on that one. I want him on there. So, drop some minecart reels. There we go. That should pick him up. No, no, maybe not quite. Let's see. Catch. Okay. Got that. And the all the switches should be turned to where they should go. And um, We're going to take a little look at that spoiler area that I mentioned but didn't say anything about. Alright, so he's going to go on up and over. Alright, we'll clean this up later. And we'll take a ride on this ourselves. Hopefully, it works out just fine. Yep. Going on up. Oh, it did not work. Oh, not good. Okay, let's head back this way. Oh. I hope I didn't have any come back through. That would have been bad. So I got one. Yeah, one of them went back through. Alright, so... So here's where the other one will eventually come to. Once I get that figured out. I think... I think that one went back down. And he's now stuck in the nether rail station. But anyway, I've built a little house up here. Um... It's got uh, five doors on each side, 
and I'm hoping that this turns into a village that uh, those guys will start breeding in. Um, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. This is all conjecture. I don't know if they will recognize it as a house in the nether, but uh, stranger things have happened, I'm sure. Um, one thing that I found kind of interesting, and, and it's why I've got iron golems and these, um, these fences all the way around. So when I was up here setting this up, um, I had a couple of zombies pop out of that portal. I think they came out of the portal. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, they came out of the portal, and, um, and when you hit them up here, it causes the social zombie effect to come in, and uh, it also happens to anger the pigmen, which is problematic. Um, well, yeah, I hear, I hear the other guy. I wonder where he went to. Well, now I've got to find a lost villager. He may be down, down below. Anyway, I'm going to get him. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'm, I'm rambling here. But the, the social zombies, um, or any, any zombies. If you hit a zombie in the Nether, zombie pigmen will get angry. So I had, angry, angry zombie pigmen, um, that I had to deal with. So if you ever see, uh, see those guys in, um in the nether don't hit them because uh, you're in for a world of hurt so uh, so yeah just keep that in mind um, so I put up a bunch of iron golems that should take care of any zombies or zombie pigmen that happen to take up residence there and uh, you shouldn't have that issue any longer so all right I'm gonna do this and this that's my own fault. Yeah. All right. I'll get that other guy, and then I will show you why exactly we want the villagers there versus elsewhere. All right. Back in a bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they didn't waste much time at all. So, so there you have it. Um, we have a valid village up here above the roof of the Nether, and we have little baby villagers occurring just from those two so I've got, what that's a that's a priest it's a little priest child villager we'll see what else they come up with but there are what, five times four twenty twenty houses here and that should be enough to get what is it one two houses per villager so we should get up to ten villagers and uh, the reason why is through this portal right here and actually you know what uh, it's through the one below but uh, let me let me go make sure that everything is cool down here first um, we've got all those villagers because I've got a little project that involves these two portals they're tied together but uh, let me uh, let me just make sure things are kosher through there and uh, and I'll bring you back all right ladies and gentlemen this is uh, just above the portal uh, where I'm going to be bringing villagers in right now I've got a little construction hut around it because we've got some work to do we're just to the east of spawn we're near the NPC Memorial Village Tower and we're going to be doing a little project over in this area and we're going to go out to uh, this river there's a river back here see it runs this way some it gets cut off a little bit and that's part of what we've got to do um, and now here's the motivation why there used to be a village under that station right there that uh, rail station and uh, Sturmfear and Aston were not properly set up to defend it. And, uh, well, they got wiped out by zombies, as most villagers do that happen to be close to player spawns. And uh, so we've, we've been memorializing that NPC village ever since. But I figure, what better memorial 
than to build a new village from scratch. And so we're going to do that over here. But we've got some work to do. Um, the first thing we've got to get done is um, I, I quarried out all the sand to build that tower. Oh, there's a chicken. Goodbye. Um, and we need to bring some sand back in and, and kind of landscape this a little bit, put a more of a natural looking curve to it. We also need to put fences all the way around. Oh, Enderman. Oh, great. Um, hopefully he's not mad at me. Been for a world of hurt if he is. Um, he's just hanging out, stealing blocks. We're going to put a fence all the way around. Um, and it's going to follow the that river that I was pointing to. And that river comes back behind these trees. Uh, there we go. So you can see it. Um, and it kind of stops right there. And what we're going to do, just to make it look a little bit better, we're going to carry the river all the way through here. Just uh, connect it from there all the way out this way. Um, so, so yeah, there's a little bit of work to be done. Um, I'll, I'll take care of that off camera and bring you back. I was going to try and do a third person time lapse, but uh, it just didn't get set up in time. There's hmm, Enderman going crazy. Um, I'm also going to tear down these trees because we want as much area as possible. And then we'll put down a bunch of torches just to make things spawn proof. And, uh, and yeah. So anyway, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, I'm not going to get the third person time lapse going because it just didn't work out this time. Um, maybe, maybe in some future build I did get Camera Studio, the Camera Studio mod. That is now available for 1.7.2, so I am able to use that. Um, but uh, it, you know, my other computer is just having some issues right now. So um, when we come back, this should be ready to go. All right, back in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I must say, progress has been made. Um, far cry from before. So what I've done is I've chopped down all the trees. This might look ugly. That's fine for now. Um, but uh, we're going to take care of that. It's just I needed a clean slate from which to work. So uh, what I've done is I've carried this river on around. I did the fences. So you can see that. So we now have a river. Oh, baby zombie. Got him. Any others? No. Okay, enough of that. Um, and I put down a torch grid, so we should not have any mob spawns inside of the, um, the fenced-in area. They'll probably be on the outside, certainly, but uh, not on the inside. And that's what we want. We want no zombies getting in. Now, the problem here... Um, I just found out on Twitter yesterday that Mogminer, Ryan Holtz, a Mojang employee, fixed a bug to where zombie sieges were never happening. They were always failing. Uh, and he's fixed it. So in 1.8, zombie sieges will occur once again. But uh, I don't think we're going to be updating this map to 1.8. Um, I think there's enough changes and enough concern with the world border issues that... Um, we will not be doing that. So, so yeah. Um, we'll see. More more to come on that later. But uh, anyway, for now, uh, I pulled in some sand from a different desert and just filled this back in. Uh, did, did the landscaping. Made it not look so bad um, like it was before. And yeah, I think we're ready to go. So um, we're going to set up a village here. And I'm not going to do it in this episode. We're about done. But uh, we'll get things started off. We'll probably do a pier um, and shoot some arrows randomly. Um, have a little church and a marketplace and various businesses. We'll kind of we'll model the houses after the standard Minecraft village houses. 
but yeah, this is we're gonna take up hopefully this whole area. There's, I've got plans for all of it, so um, have little farms and stuff, and uh, yeah, hopefully we will get things back up and running with this NPC village over here. So um, anyway, that's it. We've got the prep work done. We've got those villagers above the roof of the Nether, and they will be producing baby villagers and we will ship those in through here once um, once things progress out here so uh, we've got to get the village built and then we'll start populating with villagers but hey it's pretty cool that they are in fact um, procreating up there above the roof of the nether uh, that was kind of a, a gamble and it paid off so so yeah, we've got little baby villagers up top. We've got protective iron golems all around in case uh, zombies happen to get in. And uh, yeah, it's kind of exciting. So anyway, that's it for now. Um, join us next time where we do some work back at the base. We'll be back here. Don't worry. This is going to be an ongoing series. I just wanted something a little different to do. Um, we'll, we'll get that village going, don't you worry. But next time we're going to be at my base working on the storage system. Anyway, stay tuned. And uh, hey, if you enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, again, feel free. Put those in the comments below or catch me on Twitter at MCSoapTheGreat. Link in the description box below. But uh, that is it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.